All right. So in the last few lectures, we have uh, talked about rank of a matrix, and now in this lecture, I want to talk about uh, how how can we use the uh, concepts that we have learned uh, about rank in the last few lectures, and apply the same to figuring out the nature of uh, solutions of a linear system of equation. So let me write down a linear system of uh, equations. Uh, linear system of m equations in n so let me write it down so uh, let's say we have the following equations a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus dot 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 a1 n x n is equal to b1 so we'll have uh, we will have n n unknowns n unknowns and m equations here so the second equation can be written like so a21 a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus dot 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 a2 n xn is equal to b2 and so on and so forth and let me write down the mth equation that could be written like so am1 x1 plus a m 2 x 2 plus dot 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 plus a m n x n sorry this has to be b2 is equal to b m right and we also learned that uh, we can write down the uh, coefficient matrix for this linear system of equation here like so so a can be written like so a is equal to a11 a12 dot 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 a1n and then the second row could be a21 a22 dot 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 a2n and the mth row will be am1 am2 dot 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 amn right so this will be an m by n matrix and the coefficient matrix just to remind you is nothing but the matrix which is uh, formed by uh, Picking the coefficients of all the unknowns, right? So the first row, uh, uh, the elements of the first row of the coefficient matrix A are uh, nothing but the uh, coefficients of uh, all the unknowns uh, x1, x2 till xn in the first equation. So, and we also talked about something called augmented matrix. That is, we write it as A tilde. An augmented matrix is nothing but coefficient matrix, and we add a column vector towards the end which is made up of all the bi terms so if i were to write the augmented matrix it would be uh, a11 dot 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 a1n and then b1 and a21 dot 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 a2n and then b2 and so on and so forth am1 dot 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 amn and then B M right I really have to be <laughs> very very cautious with all the indices because it can get extremely confusing at times okay so the first claim that I want to make here and is one more thing so all the claims that I want to make here I'll, I'll be I'll be proving the proving them too but I really wanted to memorize these uh, these proofs or theorems or the claims that I'm going to make because they are very handy and they are used very often. So, so P1 or the proof one or the claim one that I want to make here is that uh, this linear system of equations, right? That we just, uh, um, that, that we are represented here, it will have, uh, it will have solution or solutions if and only if the coefficient matrix and the augmented matrix have the same rank so what i want to say is that uh, for for this the ls linear system that i have defined above will have solutions solutions if and only if if and only if rank of a is equal to rank of a tilde which is the augmented matrix all right 
and let me um, prove it to you so we can write the above uh, linear system of equations like so right so we can write it as uh, a x is equal to b where a is the coefficient matrix here x is the uh, x is the uh, column vector comprising of all the unknowns and b is again a column vectors right comprising of all the b items b1 till bm so we have seen this representation before um, there is one more uh, way in which we can represent this uh, linear system of equations and this is in terms of its column vectors all right so let me uh, call the uh, uh, column vectors here c1 c2 till dot 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 cn okay and if you look at uh, this particular equation here and you can rearrange the terms such that if you take out the x1 term and represent this a1 a2 1 you know the first column vector multiplied by the scalar x1 you can do the same again you can look at the second column vector a1 2 a2 2 until am2 which is this c2 right and multiplied by x2 and so on and so forth and this will be equal to this will be equal to b the column vector here so let me write it down so we just we can write it like so so c1 x1 plus c2 x2 plus dot 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 c n xn is equal to b all right so this is another way of representing the uh, linear system of equations apart from this but if you look at the uh, augmented matrix right so the augmented matrix is only different from the coefficient matrix on account of this column vector so we attach this column vector b1 of a column vector comprising of all the bi terms uh, towards the end and that is what uh, differentiates a and a tilde right so this clearly implies and remember the result that we had uh, uh, proven in the last uh, few lectures that uh, the rank of any matrix is also equal to the uh, number of uh, linearly independent column vectors right so the rank of rank of the augmented matrix a will either be equal to the rank of a or it will be equal to the rank of a plus one right and this is easy to say easy to see because uh, if this column vector b this this guy this column vector b is not a linear combination of all these column vectors that is c1 c2 till cn if it is not a linear combination so in that case the rank of a tilde or the augmented matrix should be equal to rank of a plus one right because and, and in case if the in case if b is a linear combination of uh, the column vectors then in that case the rank of uh, a tilde or a augmented will be equal to rank of a right but we know that b has to be if but we know that uh, uh, if if the linear system has a solution right so this this equation must hold true right so this equation must hold true and basically what it means is that b has to be equal to a linear uh, combination of all the uh, uh, other column vectors right in the augmented matrix and hence the rank of a tilde has to be equal to rank of a so uh, you can also conversely look at it so if let's say if if this result is true let's say if rank of a augmented matrix is equal to the rank of a the uh, matrix a then the only way in which uh, the augmented matrix and the original matrix a differ is in terms of the column vector comprising of all the bi terms right and if this is true that means addition of a new column vector comprising of all the bi terms does not really change the rank of a tilde right it clearly means that b 
must be a linear combination of the uh, other column vectors. So um, let, let us write it as, let's say, alpha 1, c1 plus alpha 2, c2, just dot, 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 alpha n, cn, right? And so we can write it like so in case if the rank of a tilde is equal to rank of a, then in that case, b must be expressible as a linear combination of the other column vectors. And this, uh, this means that uh, uh, this linear system of equation has a solution because if you compare this equation and this equation, we'll get that uh, x1 is equal to alpha 1 and x2 is equal to alpha 2 and so on and so forth. All right, so that's how we prove the uh, first result P1 that uh, a linear system will have, will have solutions if and only if the, uh, the coefficient matrix and the augmented matrix have the same rank. All right. Now, I want to prove the next result or the next claim that I'm making is that if the rank R is equal to n, that is equal to the number of uh, unknowns, then, then this implies that the linear system has a unique solution, has a unique solution, all right? And uh, let's, let's see how this is the case. So, so let's say if uh, the rank of A, right? So let's say if the rank, rank of A is equal to R, and this is also equal to N, right? So basically what it means is that if we consider all the column vectors, these column vectors, right, that we spoke about earlier, these guys, C1, C2 till Cn, right? If we consider all the column vectors, then uh, the set of all the column vectors, right, let's call them C, which is consisting of C1, C2 till dot 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 Cn. This is linearly independent, right? <coughs> this is linearly independent because the rank of this matrix itself is uh, N. And uh, so it follows that uh, the representation of B is unique because um, Let's say, uh, let's say we have some other representation. So let's say there is some, there, let's say there are two solutions, x1 and x1 bar. So let's say for the linear system. So let's say c1, x1 plus c2, x2 plus dot, 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 cn, xn is equal to c1, x1 bar plus c2, x2 bar plus dot, dot, cn, xn bar is equal to b, right? And you can move these terms over here. So these two, these two things are equal, right? So bringing everything on the left hand side would mean that I can write C1 into, or oh, let me write it like this, X1 minus X1 bar. So this is a scalar, right? Times C1, the vector, column vector, plus X2 minus X2 bar times C2 plus dot dot, dot plus x n minus x n bar times c n is equal to zero. And we know that these c1, c2 till c n are linearly independent, right? So uh, because the rank is n, we just showed that. So hence, there is only, uh, there is only one set of scalars that will satisfy this equation when so and that would be when x1 minus x1 bar is equal to zero and x2 minus x2 bar is equal to zero and so on and so forth. And basically it means that, uh, you know, x1 has to be equal to x1 bar and x2 has to be equal to x2 bar. And hence in that sense, the uh, scalars x1, x2 and xn are, are unique. And hence the solution of the linear system will be unique. So again, we have proven this result. So again, Please remember this and memorize this. I mean, there are very few things that you got to memorize in linear algebra. I would strongly urge that you memorize this. That if the rank of a matrix, uh, of the coefficient matrix is equal to n, that is the number of unknowns, 
and uh, which is equal to the rank of of course the augmented matrix then the linear system will have a unique solution so that was the second claim and the third claim that that's just kind of hairy but let me do it anyway so the third claim says that uh, um, if the rank r is less than n that is the number of uh, unknowns then this implies that ls has linear system has an infinite number of solutions infinite number of solutions all right and uh, all of which can be obtained by uh, by determining the uh, r suitable unknown so we can keep out of these n unknowns that we have we can keep r um, r suitable unknowns and we can find them we can find the r unknowns in terms of in terms of the rest of the rest of the n minus r unknowns okay so okay so it, if it's, it sounds too complicated what it basically means you can take some examples so the rank is let's say two and the number of unknown is four so basically what it means is that the number of solution to this linear system will have will be infinite and uh, um, you can uh, you can represent if th there are four unknowns right you can represent two unknowns in in terms of the two other unknowns so let me actually show it to you and prove it to you what it really means so okay so we 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 just saw that right uh, one we can write the linear system of equation like so c1 x1 plus c2 x2 plus dot 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 let me break it down now c r x r plus c r plus one x r plus one plus dot 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 c n x n is equal to b all right uh, where all the c i terms are the uh, uh, are the uh, column vectors and the x i terms are the uh, are the unknowns here all right so now for the sake of simplicity uh, let's assume that uh, c1 to c r are the linearly independent column vectors and the rest of the column vectors that is from cr plus 1 to cn can be expressed as a linear combination of c1 to cr if in case that is not the case we can just simply rearrange the terms here and there and we can ensure that the first r terms or the first r terms have the column vectors that are linearly independent all right so if you consider this right so remember that c r plus one now is a linear combination of 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 c one to c r right so you can write c r plus one itself or in fact uh, this term can be written like so um, alpha one c one plus alpha two c two plus dot 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 alpha r c r times x r plus one right and and again the next term that is let me write it down so the next term here would have been uh, cr plus 2 times xr plus 2 right and again this guy this guy could be written like so right uh, it could be written like it, it's again so again the cr plus 2 is is a linear combination of c1 to cr column vectors right so we can write it uh, the cr plus 2 part as alpha 1 dash some other some scalar right times c1 plus alpha 2 dash times c2 plus dot dot, dot alpha r dash times cr into xr plus 2 and we can do this we can do we can just expand the uh, ci terms after r uh, like so and uh, and what we can do is we can actually start collecting the terms here so if we actually kind of uh, just collect the terms together and uh, write down what we have we, we will be left with let's say c1 times x1 plus x1 plus 
uh, and what do we have here alpha 1 times xr plus 1 right so we can write alpha 1 times xr plus 1 plus uh, this would be alpha 1 dash times xr plus 2 alpha 1 dash times xr plus 2 and again uh, for c2 you will write x2 times x2 plus um, alpha 2 times xr plus 1 so alpha 2 times xr plus 1 plus alpha 2 dash times xr plus 2 so alpha 2 dash times xr plus 2 and so on and so forth um, and, and so on and so forth basically you can write all the terms so I'm going to replace these guys and call them just y's so this will be y1 and this will be y2 and so on and so forth so now what you have if you if you actually make this adjustment what you have you will be having a equation of the form c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus dot 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 c r y r is equal to b and remember this 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 equation if you simplify it here it will have only uh, r, uh, r r terms right because we are expressing everything from cr plus 1 to cn in terms of c1 to cr and now if you look at just this equation we have just shown or we have just proven that in this equation right the number of unknowns is n and the rank of this matrix it's r right it's r because c1 to cr right we got r uh, linearly independent column vectors so and, and that's the number of unknowns too so this linear system right will have a unique solution we know we know right where every y i is equal to x i plus some linear combination of the uh, of the you know xr plus 1 xr plus 2 dot 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 till xn right that's how that's how every yi is right and so if you solve for this equation right you will get a unique yi right and with this being unique you can actually uh, vary the values of uh, xr plus 1, xr plus 2, and xn, right? That is all the uh, n minus r terms here. And you can choose arbitrary values for these guys, all these n minus r terms here. And uh, as a result, uh, 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 you will get a value for xi. So xi, xi here, where i varies from uh, 1 to r, right? This will be equal to yi minus this term that is a linear combination of uh, of xr plus 1 xr plus 2 dot 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 xn okay so if we choose arbitrary values of all these n minus r terms here that is from xr plus 1 to xn v and and and, and then you and then you basically subtract this from yi which is a known thing right because that's a unique thing um, you will get many values for for x i s and where i varies from one to r. So again, um, again we have uh, proven this result too that if the rank of a matrix or the rank of the coefficient matrix, sorry, or and if the rank of the coefficient matrix or the augmented matrix r is less than the number of unknowns, the linear system will have infinite number of solutions, and all the uh, R unknowns uh, will be represented in terms of, of in terms of the rest of the n minus R unknowns. Um, all right, so I think that's all I had to uh, talk about in this lecture, guys. I'll see you folks in the next lecture.